Hi guys, uh, welcome back. In uh, this episode, we are going to be making this accoutrements board out of cedar and epoxy. To start out, we're using this, uh, this slice of cedar, which we had already um, removed all the bark and um, sealed both sides with uh, epoxy and then sanded. So that's why it has this white uh, appearance. But as soon as we lay epoxy over the top of it, it'll come right back out. But to start, uh, we'll lay out our lines. And I think, I think I'm gonna start with this crack and run it through the center to get one of my pieces. So then this one I'll take and put probably down here, and this one will get spun over here. All right, let's cut it out and see what it looks like. All right, so we have all our pieces cut out, and. Uh, and I think this is about the size that I want. So it would give me roughly 18 by, by nine. But you can also flip them around and see, you know, if there's a different uh, side that you wanna use to get a better look, something else that you're going for. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. All right, so to make our mold, uh, we're using this um, just scrap lumber, and what we're gonna try to do is use um, aluminum foil. Um, I like to play around with different materials and see what we can uh, repurpose and reuse. So originally this was an old countertop that got turned into a works surface, and then that got too beat up, so now we're we're cutting it up and using it as mold material. So we have our, our pieces already cut out and uh, we're gonna start just by covering these with um, aluminum foil. These guys. Yeah, I think that'll work pretty good. So then we'll clamp these guys down and uh, we'll get ready to pour them. All right, so for this pour, uh, we're just gonna do a thin layer of black uh, mica mixed epoxy first, and then we're gonna let that set and then uh, build up some layers as it goes.
All right, so our first coat has uh, dried and we poured the second layer and the second layer we did with um, predominantly black mica with a little bit of mahogany mica thrown in and it gave it like this really kind of cool purple kind of copper looking color coming through. And uh, unfortunately I forgot to film that setup. So uh, we're just gonna jump into the clear coat here. So th there is, you know, maybe like an eighth inch height difference and we did get like a little bubble here. So we're just gonna flood the whole thing and see what happens. All right, so it's been a, about a day since uh, we poured our top coat and uh, it seems uh, dry enough that we uh, should be able to pop this out of the mold. So let's go ahead and pull these screws out. All right, so we have uh, all the surfaces sanded. We routered the the top edge, and uh, we're ready to do our our final top coat this time. And uh, we had put down a tape barrier just to kind of uh, keep it all from running off to let it build up. So we'll we'll pour it on, and then in about a half an hour or so, then we'll come back and take the tape off, and then let everything drip down. All right, it's been about a half hour, 45 minutes, so we're ready to pull the tape off and then let it run down the side. Uh, one trick just to make pulling the tape off easy, easier is uh, when you bring it around, uh, just kind of overlap it on itself so it gives you an easy uh, handle to pull down on. 